What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, and today I'm going to be showcasing a uh, hardy legendary card. It costs 6, it's a 6-5, it's the Zombot Battlecruiser 5000. It's a science barrel zombie with gravestone and revealed. When revealed, zombies can't be hurt this turn. Uh, so that's a very cool card. It can work pretty well in conjunction with some of the... The other uh, protection stuff that like a uh, sport zombie, uh, like the uh, the coach zombie might have. Uh, so it's, it kind of works alongside that, those type of things. Uh, there aren't too many decks that heavily leverage him. Uh, there are a lot of decks that feature him. Uh, but if you take a look, like usually it's only like, you know, one or two. So like if we're looking, he's, he's not in stop hitting yourself. Uh, there's like none in Feast for Beast. There is one in, in uh, Dancing Machine. There's one. In the unsporting life, uh, the only deck, the only uh, specifically made strategy deck that really has him in it, Applied Sciences. There, there are four of them in there, so I'm probably going to showcase this deck. I've also made my own Neptuna deck that has him in there. It's a, I just call it Cryo. It, it really features uh, both. Uh, him and um, the Cryo Yeti, but he can only put two. So there aren't a lot of decks that just heavily feature him. So maybe I'll just showcase uh, Applied Sciences a few times. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm definitely showcasing the Applied Sciences first. We'll see how it works, and uh, let's have some fun. Hopefully get him out here and showcase just how he can be. By the time we're here in this series, you may have already seen me use him a few times, so we may not need to we may not need to use him so often but here we go i'm going to go and use him in ranked battle let's see how that goes all right here we go against solar flare which is good because she's not going to have any grave busters so she won't be able to like destroy it in case i play it you know uh this looks like an okay start i'm going to get rid of him for now uh the rest of this is probably pretty good uh, this has pretty much a lot of stuff that I like. Transformation Station, of course, transforming a zombies into a zombie that costs one more. Um, she won't be able to destroy this with her two damage thing, so, uh, I'll be able to play a teleportation zombie next turn, probably, and get that going. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. This guy uses his name like I do. Oh, dear. Alright, so here we go. I am worried about her playing several things, but that's okay. Uh, I hope I can block that next turn. Not block, not only block, but destroy that next turn. A couple of weed sprays. This guy's gonna go out though. Hopefully, I get to play it. We'll see what happens. By play it, I mean hopefully it comes out of the grave and this thing transforms into a zombie that costs three. It, I thought at first it was a science zombie, but no, it's like a zombie that costs three. I'm gonna hit it twice, by the way. And I'm transforming, so that's kind of cool. But hey, here we go. Yeah, you hit me twice. And you have a bullseye, so I don't take any damage, but let's see what happens. What do you turn into? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna die anyway, that's fine. And he's gonna die too, well, not him, but the, the, the thing that's really causing, uh, the asteroid room causing a lot of damage is gonna go the way, go away, so here we go. Not sure how to handle this, uh, so I'm gonna wait. This is, uh, this is the perfect time to wait. Maybe he'll, he won't be around, but uh, I'm gonna wait. Dude, yeah, he's gone. Well, he's not gone yet. He's almost gone. Never mind. He's totally gone. That's okay. It's okay. What I'm going to do with that is play this. I'll take the one hit. There we go. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but uh, I'm going to start off here. Maybe I'll transform next turn. Ooh, I got the goat. This guy is so cool, by the way. When played another zombie gets plus two when her bounces go. That's a really cool thing. I'm just gonna start off right here. I don't know if that guy's gonna. I, oh, jeez. I'm gonna get hit for four in another lane, but this guy's gonna transform into something that costs three, so that's kind of cool. Well, here we go. The four is annoying, but whatever. Nice. But he's changing, so. Ugh. Oh, interesting. I don't know that that's going to change. Uh, this is uh, when played another zombie gets plus two, plus two, and her bounces goat. Uh, so I'm going to play this here. This is a science zombie. And then I'm going to give uh, you plus two, plus two, because, you know, that's just how it works. So if you don't kill that goat, he bounces. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, Plank gets minus two. It's going to be you. Not that it matters too much, but there we go. We're at a good spot. Base is loaded, so to speak. Ooh, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt me. 
That's not, that will be enough to hurt him. But let's see what happens. Oof. Gonna block that, that's okay. When I say block, I mean he's gonna, t he's gonna not get that four damage. We're gonna cancel in the middle. The goat is not getting hurt, so he's not bouncing yet. I would love for him to bounce. That goat will be featured eventually. I don't know when. It's time to play this. This is great because all my zombies are gonna get protection. And then he's gonna transform into a seven in this lane, assuming that lane stays that environment that I played. This is perfect. Look at this. He's not even doing anything. Crazy weird. Okay. I'm gonna deal a lot of damage. I can't believe he didn't even do anything. Boom, blocked. Well, that guy's transforming anyway, so. So you gotta think, like, which zombies are seven? You know, they're, they're not too many, so it might be kind of cool to have a list. And that's kind of the cool thing, he's using Gravestone. Can work out quite well with this. Oh, nice, nice. There he goes, man, he's big. Uh, so I can't play anything, but if she plays something big, I can destroy a plant that has five or more. Oh, that, that guy's gone. Darn. It's okay. It's okay. All right, there you go. And then I'm gonna transform this zombie. This was a three, so this will be a four next turn. So you get to see how I had that protection, right? So that was pretty cool. Oh no, no one to bounce, darn. All right, let's see what happens here. I get something that can deal seven damage, so you gotta watch out for that also. Oh, three damage, darn, I'm gonna take him out. That's okay. And it's gonna take me out here. Such a shame. And uh, weed spray, two or there's only two or less, so. It's okay. Here we go. So, cancel here. I do one damage here, though. Now I'm running low on cards. He does evolve a little bit, but he's gonna be a three next turn. Excellent. Goodness gracious. So I'm gonna play this here. Here we go, guys. Now this could be my, you know, this could start being my downfall. I could start playing some really fancy stuff. Yeah, oh, look at his health just went up. I can destroy that though with this, and then uh, I'm able to, uh, but it's okay, Do you're gonna do a bonus attack. Uh, you are. I'm getting rid of you so that you can both transform. So there's no random plant to do damage to, unfortunately. We both transform, which is really cool. We're, you're not on height, so oh well. Trapper territory going into the middle there. All right, I don't know how this is gonna pan out. Again, we're in very dangerous territory where, yeah, oh wow, darn. Uh, okay. Well, this is annoying because he's probably gonna do some damage to me based just on this. And then, uh, yeah, he's gonna then attack me again. He's, oh, he's attacked me personally. That's fine. Well, here we go again, guys. Like I said, he doesn't have anything that can destroy gravestones. So no matter what, I'm gonna give protection to him and I'm going to uh, evolve. Uh, he's gonna turn into a seven, so. We're both gonna block our next hit, though. So even if the six, I probably should have put him in the far. Oh, geez. Yeah, this is actually pretty good because I will destroy this and then it'll hit me and I'll block it. So if she plays something in the left lane, see that wasn't wise. She should have played in the left lane because I'm gonna block the six that comes from this. But she may have not even been thinking about that. So here we go. I am gonna block the six that comes from this, uh, which is really cool to me. Hopefully it's a heal six that I get, or a heal, is it heal six? Is that what it was? Uh, yeah, heal six, great. And then I do two damage, which she's gonna block a two. But the main thing is that this guy transforms. He was a six, he's gonna be a seven now. Oh darn, he's gone, that's okay. He's just gone. Oh boy, so what, what's gonna be seven? 
this guy again, huh? Wonderful. So, uh, I'm just gonna kind of guess that maybe... Maybe I'll get something, I'll conjure something a little bit higher than two. Oh, no. Uh, I guess I'll just throw this in here then. So that'll transform into a three. The 615 is probably pretty scary. And, and then plus even scarier is it'll transform into something like an eight next turn. I don't know which zombies cost eight. So I don't know what kind of options she really has at this point. Okay, that's that's pretty fair. Yeah, okay, well I'm not gonna be able to do much. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him for six. We're each hitting for six. Okay, she's it's eight to two. Oh my gosh, I gotta really be careful here. Oh not well, no. This is a plant that has four or more. Alright, let's see what happens. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I destroy that six, what if she puts on another one? What if she puts on another Grapes of Wrath? Oh jeez. Oh jeez, this is not good. This isn't so good. This is uh, the story of a plant that has four or more. Uh, so if I get hit for six, the two's gonna hit me no matter what. I mean, I gotta do this. I could get hit for it though, and then maybe, uh, I don't know, I gotta do it, I guess. Gosh, this is so tough. Actually, I could, no, I can't even destroy the two. Darn, so I gotta destroy this and just hope and pray that I block the next one. I might block that too. I might not, but I might block that too. Oh, I didn't. Wow, that was a close match. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the video because like I said, it, I think it did a great job showcasing that particular card. So let's just try again. Uh, you know, I've, I have a lot of losses when I showcase you know, a wide variety of decks that I'm not really used to. Uh, but hey, 300 damage to heroes, that's a lot of gems for that. So let's try again. All right, here's another level 50. Um, let's see if this uh, Applied Sciences deck can keep up. While also playing that Zombot Battlecruiser thing. This looks okay. Not really sure how to handle this, but this looks okay. I'm gonna wait until I can play something, you know, and have it be next to something. Great. Okay, maybe weed spray is coming up soon. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that instead. Skip. All right, we'll just see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a little risky thing here. These will play off of each other, maybe. If not, weed spray next turn. This is a little risky. No one's moving to your lane, buddy. Three, two, three, two. Excellent. All right, good stuff so far. Uh, do I do weed spray or do I just, I, maybe I should play this and just kind of wait and see what happens. Maybe weed spray next turn. I can heal plus six. Oh uh, yeah, well, okay, that's fine. Weed spray maybe would have been a little better. It's okay. Can't do much with that. Not yet. Plus six next turn, maybe. Blocked. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who wants that. Maybe I'll wait till round six to do it. I don't even know. Weed spray. Let's see what happens this turn. He might play some weaker stuff I could just wipe out with weed spray. Gosh, that's not what I had in mind. Uh... Well, hey, yeah, uh, by the way, I have this. There we go. Excellent. Uh, totally forgot I had that. I mean, like, that, that ability just kind of... Anyway, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, we can actually wipe out a lot here doing this. Okay, great. So weed spray is not necessary this turn. I was actually able to do all those. Th I, I mean, I guess I could have waited. I didn't think about that, but I was afraid he would somehow take out teleportation zombie. But I saw an opportunity, and I took it. In a couple turns, or next turn, I'll be able to do uh, this zombie battle cruiser, which would be really cool. 
All right, so here we go. This guy's still alive. Everything. Wonderful. Uh, so Zombot Battle Cruiser is going to come out now. Although Weed Spray is tempting. I want the six damage. He might have a Grave Buster. Now keep that in mind. Uh, part of the weakness of the Zombot Battle Cruiser is that he is susceptible to Grave Busters, and I don't know what he's going to do. So this guy might have some. I, if I play, but I, I think that he. This is a. Def I, I got to look at their types. I always forget what types some of the heroes are. So this may not be the right class. It seems like it probably is, but who knows? Ooh, interesting. But here we go. Well, that's pretty good. Everyone's dead though. So, tell me if that was good or bad. I thought it was pretty good. So there you go. Now that just showcases like one of the perfect strengths of this guy. I just canceled out everything with that one move. Uh, having a zombie do a bonus attack would be phenomenal. And especially if it's the guy in the middle. But it may not be. Instead, I might need to do a, uh, a weed spray if he plays a bunch more of those little mushrooms, you know? It just depends on how this works. This seems like a pretty good uh, deck for this, so... Oh, him, really? You went for him? I can't believe you went for him of all people, but that's okay. Weed spray is not going to be the best. Ugh, especially now. Uh, who does a bonus attack? You. Weed spray will take him out, so here we go. Alright, 20 to 14. I actually hit him with the 6, and then here a follow up of 7, 8, 9. It's 20 to 5 now. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. I'm gonna play this. Unless this is amphibious, I, I'm not going to be able to play anything else. Having that 6-5 out there is just fantastic. So yeah, let's see what happens next turn. Either either we're going to destroy a plant that's four more, or maybe we can do some weed spray to destroy each plant with two or less. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's four damage. So it's he's going to kill everyone except for, you know. All right, let's see what happens. Pretty cool. Uh, goodbye. All right, and I won. I won with it. Victory. Very cool. Let's do another round. I mean, otherwise it's going to be a short video. But I won. Victory. And I won with the card I'm showcasing, which always feels really cool. <laughs> so, awesome. Uh, so, let's see what, what's up next. All right, this guy's level 44, but he was in Ultimate League 4. And let's see if the Applied Sciences deck stacks up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go like oh uh, expensive, but the cool thing is uh, if I do the teleportation station uh, Alongside the intergalactic warlord. I mean it could be really cool it could transform into a six next turn. We don't know I don't know who knows do you know? I almost thought it was captain shampoo, but Shamu killer whale Here we go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about all right Nice. This is a, a plant gets minus three, and I get to draw a card. Could be very useful if he plays anything like, uh, yeah, he doesn't play anything. That's fine. Alright. Here we go. Now. Again, I don't know. I'm kind of just rushing these things out. I don't really know what to expect here. Nice. Yeah, I can't play anything right now, but... All right, again, if he blocks, if he puts something that does three damage or something there, it's hard to take him out unless you do like a mine. But even with the mine, he's, he's not susceptible to the potato mines unless it's the special one that you get from your from your super tricks, your superpowers, what are they called? Oh man, the mushroom strategy coming out full force. Thankfully, I have weed spray. Also, I can replace an environment, which I will try to think to do pretty soon, probably. I don't know. And then he gets a little boost, and then uh, I do one damage, and I get a little boost. We're all just here to boost each other up. I want to play uh, the Intergalactic Warlord as soon as possible, but it's leaning me towards Wheat Spray right now. So here we go. Three damage to you. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens. Darn. 
Uh, what's he gonna do? I don't know. Does he have a mushroom to play? Darn, weird. Boom, got me a little bit. Alright. So Intergalactic Warlord will be played this turn. Um, and maybe he'll transform into something really cool. I don't know. I, I'm not afraid of his mushroom strategy anymore because unless he replaces it, but already now we can see with that the Zombot Battle Cruiser is now going to be a 7-6, which is really cool. So it's not a big deal, dude. It's fine. In fact, it's kind of an, it's kind of funny to me because I, I hit with this, yeah, I hit, and then I, I get to put in. I mean, you don't even know. I get to put in. That's fine. Zombot Battle Cruiser. He might have a Grave Buster, but still. Still, this is going to be pretty cool. That'll be a 7 next turn, if, if I'm lucky. Unless he has a Grave Buster. He doesn't. He's playing this Mushroom strategy. He's trying to, at least. Tough stuff. Uh, oh, man. Move a plan against plus 4. Darn. That's okay. We're all going to be protected, which is kind of fun. I'm still going to take 5 damage, though, from his others. I actually destroy... It's so funny. I actually get to destroy the uh, the punish room with this. <laughs> and I blocked. And uh, it doesn't even matter. You know what? I'll hide him. There we go. He's now a 3-7. Deal with it. Okay, this is great. So here we go. This is not a science zombie, but... That guy, he's armored. 6-6. Six, six. Um, but, you know, he, he's still pretty good. I think I'm going to play the 5. I mean, obviously, this makes sense to me. I don't know about the science thing right now. Yeah, I'll play this. This here is a science superpower trick, which is really cool. So here we go. Let's see what he does. If he doesn't take care of... Uh, oh, okay, well, they're almost all dead. Darn. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, they are all gone. Darn, dude. That sucks for me. Just being real. You get minus three, and I get to draw a card, and you get to transform. So what do you transform into? Not so... Uh, that's a good card to draw. Amphibious, but he's like a 5-4 a instead. Good thing. Those Doom Shrooms are going to be a little, a little bit of a pain. This is if you plant a plant or heights, it gets plus two, plus two. Uh, so let's see this work, right? I mean, uh, I mean if you plant, plant in heights or an environment. And then I still have uh, weed spray and uh, rocket science. That's where I plant those four more. Weed spray looks like it's going to be what I play. Unless he has some other amazing thing coming up. Let's see what he does. Ah, jeez. I can't do it. Not like I want. Jeez, I could, but then... Let's just do it. There we go. I'm happy with that because uh, basically it means that I'm... He might block this, unfortunately. Yeah, he blocked it. Darn. What's gonna happen now? Oh, I, well, what happens now is I transform. That's really cool. Oh, darn, no plants out to bounce. It's okay. That cost uh, four. Yes, victory! What I tell you is... That uh, that that intergalactic warlord with the Zombot battle cruiser was pretty cool because it was able to take out that shroom, that punish shroom that he actually boosted. So that was really awesome. So uh, with that with that said and done, let's now go ahead and do today's challenge. Uh, like I said, I've been going through and, and and pretty much doing these daily. This is a puzzle party. Ah, uh, featuring the doom shroom, we get to mess with what we just had dealt against us. Uh, playing cards in the right order makes all the difference. Beat the smash this turn. All right, so we got to think about the right order, and I got to get it right. This shouldn't take too long, in theory. Doom shroom. 
All right. So, okay. Got it. Got it. So, <clears throat> Doom Shroom. Right? Uh, Doom Shroom seems to be obvious. Then. Okay. Wait. Time out. Okay. Doom. Oh, six. Strike through. Okay. We'll be gone with that. I feel like Doom Shrooms first, no matter what. Wait. Wait. I No, that's a trick. Okay. This is what we do. We move this guy so that we can pull off the Doom Shroom. Oh, but I gotta beat him somehow. What? Okay, this doesn't work quite how I thought. Oh, um... You know what? I already messed up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Never mind. Okay, so, sorry. Yeah, so this works. Okay, great. This is actually perfect. Victory. <laughs> I, <th> <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But I made a victory right there. Very cool. Guys, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for every like and comment. Be sure to come back next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Uh, we're getting to the end of the new legendaries for uh, Galactic Gardens. Uh, but we're still having fun. And if you want to if you wanna know what I'm going to showcase next episode, we just type in legend right here. And uh, next episode, I will be showcasing uh, ooh, the Astro Cotto. Very cool. It's a strike through. And when destroyed, gain an Astro Cotto pit. Very cool. Come back next time for more. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.